Hawaii software programmers square off in a month-long hackathon, the Hawaii Annual Code Challenge. Joining us, Governor Ige and our resident geek beat fellow, Bert Lum from Hawaii Open Data. He's the one that kind of puts this together. How many years have this been going on? Well, this is the second, so we started in uh, 2016. And Governor Ige can tell you sort of how this all started up. Yeah, I'd like to know. Well, certainly we were looking at uh, different ways to get the state to realize that uh, they're a source of data uh, and that we want them to engage the public to help find solutions that can help them be more efficient and effective. Uh, at the same time, we wanted to engage the software development and coding community. You know, I'm an uh, engineer by heart, and it really was an opportunity for us to um, marry state government and the hackers to solve your challenges and make government work more efficiently. And not only that, if you hired one of the, uh, one of the mainland-based contractors to do this, it would cost a zillion dollars, and it would take eight years, and it wouldn't work. So th this, is, this really has potential. Absolutely, and we felt that it would be a good opportunity to engage the local development community. Uh, it allows us to build capacity here and really in the belief that uh, we can, our coders here in Hawaii can find solutions that helps the entire community. Now what's the first step, when and what? Well, the first step is of course you have to register for the event. The event is coming up this Saturday. It's going to be over at the East West Center. And what we'll have there is that we'll have actual departments. We have eight of them all lined up and they will actually do their pitches. We're calling them challenge pitches. So this and, is what we're looking for at the Department of Health or whatever. Right, so we have Department of Health, we have OHA, we have DBED, we have DCCA, Hawaii Green Growth, UH. So there's a whole bunch of them. They'll be kind of pitching some of their challenges and then we'll have the community of developers and programmers kind of think about, okay, what kind of solution could I come up with? And over the course of the next month, we will have them look at developing a proof of concept. And then at the 23rd of September, we'll have a demo day. Okay, and th that part is going to happen at the Manoa Innovation Center? No, so... And the, then back at the East West Center for the yeah, finish? Yeah, the, the kickoff is at East West Center. The demo day is at <coughs> East West Center. Okay, in between, we'll have some workshops, and those will take place at the Manoa Innovation Center. And, and you're going to be at the East West Center too, yeah? Absolutely. You know, I think I, I get excited, room full of uh, geeks, uh, <laughs> hackers really trying to help uh, develop solutions to help state government be more efficient and effective. Yeah, and this really goes back to the, to the roots of computer software programming, the, the idea of a, a team of a few people with a couple of ideas just brainstorming and then and then uh, drinking a lot of uh, Red Bull, I guess. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and one of the things that we do is that we do extend it over a month period, and uh, last year's um, uh, products were a lot more developed than you might have in a hackathon where it's just 24 hours or 48 hours. Oh, yeah. You know, it really allows us to do two things. It allows the department to share the biggest challenges and talk about um, the projects mm -hmm. that they have interest. And it allows the hackers to really engage and try to make their p pitches to the department and find solutions that uh, that they have more time to develop. Okay, this is, uh, this is intriguing. This has the potential to be really uh, widely copied if it works as well as it might work. And uh, we're going to keep following it for you. In fact, Bert's coming back tomorrow and we'll have more on it then. But for more information or to register, it's hack, that's H A C C dot Hawaii dot gov. And we'll have more sunrise for you in a moment. Okay, guys. Thanks, Dave. Always.